my name is Matt Knight. I am a programmer volunteer for KHSU in Arcata, California. I have a show called Alternative Therapy, which I started doing in uh, February of 2000. So that means I'm about to start my 18th year of doing alternative therapy. My radio name, as unlikely as it might seem, is Mad Dr. Matt. Those of you who are old enough to remember the days of Citizen Man Radio, everyone had a handle. And uh, Mad Dr. Matt was my citizen band handle and it seemed uh, natural enough to use it as my radio name the very first alternative therapy i had a name the show derby in which uh, listeners were encouraged to call in and give various names uh, that they thought that the show should be called and um, this lady from crescent city i think her name was diane called in suggested alternative therapy it sounded like a perfect fit and uh, it's been that ever since I've had a long time interest in music I've uh, been a musician and a recording engineer and uh, worked in various parts of the entertainment industry in addition to other uh, occupations over the years But music has always been my first love. I usually put my show together the Monday before my Saturday show. My show airs on Saturday nights. But the Monday before, I usually sit down and start pulling out some music and uh, going through it and seeing uh, what I'm feeling like at the time. Sometimes I have something to say with my show. Sometimes I just want a boogie just want to make everybody dance sometimes I'm trying to catch her mood sometimes I'm just listening to songs that I enjoy listening to I'm a very organized person um, so I have a tendency to have my show planned out to the nth degree I know exactly how long the songs are and where they're going to come in the order and what's going to be my break and what's my break music and I have it all written down but sometimes I'll just come up and I'll change all that I'll just uh, just throw the cards up in the air and uh, see where they come down sometimes uh, what I did on Monday doesn't make sense on Saturday so I'll come back and redo it and often frantically in the minutes right before uh, I go on the air I'll be up there moving things around it's like a big puzzle putting all the puzzle pieces together and and having it come out as a lovely picture of a a colt or a bridge or a lovely sunset or something like that so and I really enjoy that aspect of of it the KHSU studios are located on uh, the third floor of the theater arts building And I've always said to myself, when I can no longer walk up the stairs to KHSU Studios, that's when I know it'll be time for me to hang it up, as it were. But so far, still walking up the stairs every Saturday night. KHSU has been a great place to do music. Really, the only instruction I was given when I started my show was, have fun. Have fun and please show up and that's pretty much what I've been doing for the last 17 going on 18 years is showing up every Saturday night for my show which starts at 8 p.m. radio is a funny medium sometimes you think uh, is this thing on is this mic actually connected to anything or is there anybody out there But there is, there are people out there and they do listen and uh, they seem to appreciate what I do. There's a couple who met, courted, and got married uh, listening to my show. They were big fans of the show and in fact, they asked me to come uh, and DJ their wedding, which I did happily. 
They now have uh, moved out of Humboldt County, live down in the San Francisco Bay Area, and have started a family. And they tell me they still listen. So uh, it's a long-term relationship with my listeners. My show is sort of an amalgam of old things that sound new and new things that sound old. I try and do little half-hour sets that are somewhat cohesive, or at least they start off in a place and they end in a logical place. And the next set, the next half-hour set, can be something completely different. Different mood, uh, different tempo, different genre. But I'm sort of musically schizophrenic, hence the Mad Doctor name. So I'm generally all over the place. If you don't like what's happening on alternative therapy... It's like the weather in Humboldt County. Just wait a few minutes and uh, it'll change. Sometimes I will have done a show and I think it's really good, at least from my perspective. And I don't get any calls and it just you can't tell whether somebody's listening. But then somebody will call up and they'll say, thank you so much for that show. I really enjoyed it. The music you played tonight and it, it meant something to them in, in some way or another and that's probably why I keep doing what I do if you like what you hear on my show or any of the shows on KHSU please consider supporting the station people have a tendency to think that this stuff just happens and it, it doesn't cost any money even when you have a volunteer who's not being paid well that doesn't cost any money but it does infrastructure and uh, keeping the lights on and uh, all those sorts of things. They, they add up and they cost money and airtime is valuable as we all know. And if you think this kind of programming is valuable, please consider supporting Cage Issue. It doesn't have to be a lot. Even a token amount says to us that you appreciate Cage Issue, alternative therapy and the other great uh, shows that are on KHSU. Saturday night at KHSU is a a really great musical experience for people who still believe in radio and still uh, find it useful and make it a part of their lives. My name is Mad Dr. Matt and you have been listening to Alternative Therapy on KHSU.